What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Mayflash Dolphin Bar along with a Wiimote to play light gun games on your Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi. Now in this video we're going to be focusing on LR MAME 2003 and that requires a MAME ROM set of 0.78. It does get confusing with MAME, but if you do a quick Google search for MAME 0.78 ROM set, you should be able to find what you need. Now this will work with the Motion Plus Wemo or the older version. You'll also need a Mayflash Dolphin Bar. You can get them on Amazon. And this is totally optional, but you can get a Wemo Blaster. You just slide your Wemo inside of here. This happens to have the dual trigger, so I do suggest that if you pick one up. If you don't want to pick up a blaster, that's totally fine. You can use the Wiimote in your hand, but I think it adds to the experience, and that's why I purchased this one. Here's a quick look at the Dolphin Bar. On the very back, there's a little switch that says top or bottom. If you're familiar with the Wii, you know you could have placed the sensor bar on the top of your TV or the bottom of your TV. I prefer it on top, so I switched it to the top. There's also a mode button. We're going to be using mode one. There's four LEDs down there. You will have to sync your Wiimote to it, so there's a sync button here. You're just going to press that, LEDs are going to flash, press the sync button on the back of your Wiimote, and it should sync up automatically. It's really easy to set up. But go ahead and read through the manual if you bought one on Amazon brand new. If not, they do have the owner's manual online. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and sort out the light gun games in our ROM set here. Remember, we're using MAME 2003, which uses MAME ROM set 0.78. So what I have here on my desktop is a bat file. It's really simple to use. You're going to drop the bat file right in your MAME set and then run the bat file. It's going to create a folder called underscore light gun games, and those are the games we're going to be using. Just double click on that bat file. You might get prompted by Windows Defender that this isn't safe. I'm going to run it anyway. It is totally safe. If you don't trust it, don't use it. So it should finish up fairly quickly. And now we have a underscore light gun games folder. All you need to do now is copy these over to your Raspberry Pi's arcade folder. You can put them in a separate folder called light gun ROMs if you want to. So you can sort them out from your other arcade games. I've already transferred mine over. We're going to move over to the Pi now. I'll show you how to set up the Wiimote with the Dolphin Bar so we can get to playing some light gun games. Alright, so I'm running RetroPie 4.4 here. I got my Wiimote connected to my Dolphin Bar. It's easy to sync up. Just read through the manual. The Dolphin Bar LED needs to be on one. And if you press your home button and down on the Wiimote, it'll change modes here. We want LED 1 and 2 on the Wiimote lit up. You're also going to want a keyboard plugged in because when we start a main game, we have to press tab so we can set this up. Some games are a little different. So you might want to set up all of your light gun games, and then you don't need the keyboard anymore. I also like to set up my Wemo in the emulation station menu here so I can control everything. The only problem is we won't have a back button. We're going to set up the D-pad, start select, and this is going to be my A button. That way we can go into the light gun games without another controller and select what we want to play. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here and map the hot key to the same exact key I map select to. That way when I press start and select, I can exit out of a game and come back to emulation station from the light gun. All right, so now that I have the Wiimote set up for emulation station, I'm just going to go into my arcade folder where I placed all of my light gun games and I'm going to start a game. I can do it directly from the Wiimote slash light gun, whatever you want to call it. Soon as we get in here, we will have to set the light gun up correctly for each game. Some games require two shoot buttons for like a grenade and the gun part itself. Some require a start button, some require a coin button. What we want to do from here is press tab on our keyboard. This is going to bring up the main menu. You want to go to input this game, press enter on your keyboard. P1, that's player one, button one is my shoot button. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard and map my shoot button. Same thing with Player 1, button 2, it's going to be my second trigger button. You want to look through here, make sure you have a start button mapped also. I'm just going to set that up as my home key. And there's also going to be a coin button. Most all of these games are going to require at least one button and a coin. Some don't have a start button, so you won't need to map that. But when you start a new light gun game, you will need to go into the main menu to find out what buttons need to be mapped and map them accordingly 
on your Wiimote. This is going to be saved when we exit the game. We can go right back to this game and we will not have to set that up again. You can also change the speed, the sensitivity, and you can also reverse the light gun positioning. So it's really up to you. I kind of leave mine stock. Sometimes the light gun is a little wonky, so I turn the speed down a bit. It really comes down to personal preference. Now we're just going to exit the main menu. I'm going to enter some coins and I'm going to press start. Whatever button you set up is coin, whatever button you set up is start. This works much better on a bigger screen. Now this is a little tilted for the camera and everything like that, so it looks like it's a little bit off, but I am dead on with the screen. I have my dolphin bar on the top, the switch is set to top, you can try the bottom if you'd like to. In these games, button 1 is usually your main fire and button 2 will be your grenade or secondary fire. Both of mine are set up here. And this actually works really well. You could also use an air mouse, and I did a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. Aim Track actually makes a nice light gun that works with the Raspberry Pi, but it's about $110. I have right around $32 into this setup here, and I'm, I'm not going to use it that much, to tell you the truth. It is fun to have, it's cool to set up and have your buddies come over, but it's not worth $110, $120 to me to play a couple of these games. Since I also set up the Wemo in Emulation Station, I can go ahead and exit main by pressing start and hotkey. That's what I set it up as. And I'm going to go to a different game. I'll show you one more setup. This is Alien. So if it gives you this warning here, just use your D-pad on the Wii mode itself. Press tab on your keyboard. Input this game. Find the buttons that need to be set up. Player 1 button 1. That's going to be my trigger. Player 1 button 2. That's going to be my secondary grenade button. This one here doesn't have a start button. It's got a coin button. So we'll set that as coin. Now I can exit out of here. Start for this game is just press your trigger while you're pointing at the screen. And we're now playing the Alien Light Gun game on our Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi with a Wiimote and the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. By the way, the case I'm using for my Raspberry Pi is the all-new Retro Flag Super Pi case. This is the Famicom version here. They also make a US SNES looking version. Best case on the market, hands down. If you're looking to set up a second player, this will also work. You're just going to do the same thing, but make sure you have another Wiimote connected, and it's connected as player 2. The Dolphin Bar will sort that out for you. You'll just have to go into the main settings per game, and set up P2, button 1, coin button, start. It's as easy as that. I think I'm going to be adding this to one of my arcade cabinets. I'll just have a little holster on the side for something like this. I might get a different gun. I got this because it was the cheapest one on Amazon at the time of ordering. This setup also works with MAME on PC, and I've been working on a little bit of a LaunchBox tutorial, setting this up with some light gun games with LaunchBox and MAME. So keep an eye out for that video if you're into PC emulation. It's going to be really simple. Same kind of bat file. It'll pull all of your light gun games into a folder and you can import them in the launch box really easily. I just realized that this has a rumble and an LED feature built in. I don't even have any batteries in it. I totally forgot about that. I could put two AAA batteries in here and it's got a little bit of a rumble when you pull the trigger and a blue LED on the bottom. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you get some light games up and running on your Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi. I will leave Amazon links in the description to where you can pick up this Mayflash Dolphin Bar. Also leave a few extras down below. Pretty much everything I mentioned in this video. The two main things you're going to need here are a Wemo and the Dolphin Bar. You can do without the blaster, but I suggest go ahead and pick up a real cheap one because it does add to the experience. You can also find pretty much any color you want on Amazon. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.